Hello again, it's Marco, back with a new vlog and in a new setting. I have recently moved back to campus. I'm currently in Blackstone, which will always be one of my most favorite, most beloved dorms here on campus. So for this vlog, I am going to be discussing second jobs. I'm going to be talking about uh, my experience. I'm going to be talking um, some wisdom to you guys about just how it feels with two jobs and I know there's this there's even like some students with even like three jobs it just depends on the motivation and what everyone's situation is so back in July 2020 was when I got my new job at Target now before the fall 2020 semester started I was in the application process to be in this job I was both working um, for Target and for the admissions team um, during fall 2020. So when I worked for Target, there were very early morning shifts, which was 4, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Um, that would be during the weekday and weekends. So there would be times where I had school that day. I would go from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. And then I had a meeting at 9 and then a class at 10 a.m. And it's just how it happens. You have two jobs, you have a tight schedule. It's just how it is. And just for you to get to know me a little bit better, I am a very organized and time manageable person. However, there were times where I would be a, it would be a drag. And that was such an important factor that I kinda was weak on. There was to a point where I did feel that I was draining myself, but as I continued to get used to the routine, I think it began to be a little bit more manageable. Of course, I was very excited and having two jobs because I was like, all right, double the income, the better. I was able to save up some money because I knew that I was coming back to school. So it just depends on the motivation, as I mentioned earlier. So if you're looking to have a second job, I really do recommend that you dive in into the motivation as to why you want one. Having two jobs can be a drag sometimes because you're either drained from your first job or you're either drained from your second job and then you have no motivation like to do your other things. As you get more used to it, you know how to manage your energy, you know how to manage the time. My organization skills began to fail because personally, I thought that, ah, I got this. You know, I'll do that homework later. I'll do that project later. But of course, it started to build up and it began to be a very heavy weight on my shoulders. I think I was just so set on being productive on like, okay, like I know I can go to work in the morning, early morning, and then I know that I can get my stuff done. I know that. But something that I wasn't careful with was taking time to rest. Now, as we see that in a biblical perspective, God created us to work, but to also rest. It's something that I failed in. If you do plan to get involved with another job, just be honest. Be honest about your schedule. Be honest about your availability. Don't just say that you're open every day. Just be like, hey, you know what? This day, I have a bunch of classes. I can't work. That way you can dedicate to things that you need to get done. Please, be honest with yourselves. Make sure that you give yourself time to do your own personal things, to invest in school, to invest in work, um, to invest some time to yourself. There's time to do homework, there's time to work, there's time to rest, there's time to do everything. I think the more you do, the more you start to realize like, oh my God, like a day's not enough to get the things that I need to get done. I know I did talk about many things that involved um, not only like the external factors such as the environment or something but also the emotional factors the physical factors as to what is being invested in the both of those jobs i do trust that you will be wise with your decisions and managing both work school family personal life anything anything that involves you i hope you enjoyed thank you I'll see you in the next vlog.